16 million dollars is a lot of money for some individuals, but it's just the price tag of a single cycladic marble figure for others. Let's have a look. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. For this video we will discover a look at the cycladic marble figure sold for 16 million dollars. But before anything else, please leave a like on the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell down below so you won't miss our videos. Without any further ado, let's hop on right to the video. On December 9th, 2010, Christie's in New York sold a rare 4,400 year old marble sculpture for a staggering $16.8 million. The sculpture is said to date around 2400 BC and has remained in pristine form over the ages. White marble was used to sculpt the 11 and a half inch figurine. It's one of only 12 sculptures ascribed to the Schuster Master, who was named after the figure's former owner. It's also the only figure that hasn't deteriorated with time. The cycladic marble reclining female figure, according to Christie's, is the first of its type to be auctioned. It's in pristine condition. It's never been broken. The surface is absolutely pristine as well. It also has great provenance, which is what we're looking for in this market, said Max Bernheimer, Christie's international head of antiques. The marble masterpiece was expected to get between $3 million and $5 million at auction, but a phone fight between two unidentified bidders pushed the final hammer price to $15 million US dollars. The total selling price of the marble masterpiece, including Christie's fee, was $16,882,500. The transaction, according to Bernheimer, demonstrates the vitality of the art market. Even if we had sold it at the low estimate, which was $3 million, it would have been a world record, but at this point in the economy, the art market is thriving and it's a masterpiece market. So this is a masterpiece and therefore the price is no surprise at all, he said. The majority of Schuster's master sculptures feature pregnant ladies. The marble figures known as idols or figurines are the most well-known works of this era, but neither word is quite accurate. The former implies a religious purpose that experts disagree on, while the latter does not properly apply to the biggest figures, which are almost life-size. The fact that these marble sculptures can be found all across the Aegean suggests that they were popular amongst the inhabitants of Crete and mainland Greece. The most well-known of these individuals are two musicians, one a harpist and the other a piper. These players are often referred to as the earliest extant musicians from the Aegean, since they date back to about 2500 BCE. The bulk of this kind of figure on the other hand is highly stylized depictions of the feminine human form, with a flat, geometric appearance that bears a remarkable similarity to contemporary art. However, there is evidence that these statues were once brilliantly painted, thus, this may be a later misunderstanding. The bulk of the figurines are female, portrayed naked and with arms crossed over the stomach, with the right arm usually held below the left. Most anthropologists and psychologists who have studied these artefacts have believed that they are representations of a great goddess of nature, following in the footsteps of Neolithic female images like the Venus of Willendorf. Although some archaeologists concur, this view is not widely accepted among archaeologists, who disagree over their importance. They've been interpreted as deity idols, death images, children's dolls, and a variety of other things. They were more than dolls and probably less than sacrosanct idols, according to one expert. Any archaeological evidence contradicts claims that these pictures were idols in the literal sense, cult artifacts that were the centre of ritual devotion. The archaeological evidence indicates that these pictures were often employed in funeral rituals, since they have all been discovered in tombs. However, at least some of them had obvious indications of repair, indicating that they were vulnerable items to the dead throughout their lifetime, and were not created especially for burial. Larger figures were also sometimes torn apart, such that just a portion of them was buried, a phenomenon for which no explanation exists. Both men and women seem to have been buried beside the statues. This kind of figure was not found in every tomb. While the majority of the sculptures are discovered lying on their backs in graves, bigger specimens may have been placed in shrines or living sites. The cycladic marble figure valued at $16.8 million isn't the only expensive figure in the room. Here are some cycladic figures sold at Christie's. Lot 43. The abstract characteristics of the cycladic figures inspired many contemporary painters, notably Brancusi and Modigliani, although they were created nearly a thousand years after the Chalcolithic period around 3300 to 2500 BC, when Calia marble idols from Anatolia were created. One such figure is Lot 43. Although it is just four and three quarter inches tall, it is both abstract and lyrical. It's one of the stargazer kind. Calia is a Turkish archeological site near Gallipoli, where these idols were found in the early 20th century. The value of this property is estimated to be between $50,000 and $80,000. It was purchased for $134,500. 
Lot 45. Lot 45 is a stunning Bactrian female figure dressed in a voluminous pleated gown. It dates from the late 3rd to early 2nd millennium BC and originates from Bactria Margiana. It stands 7 and 1 quarter inches tall. The shelf in the west was for the forearms that were built separately and are now gone. The clothing is composed of chlorite and the face is white limestone, comparable to certain Sumerian images. According to the catalogue, there is a closely similar piece at the Louvre. The lot's value is estimated between $150,000 and $250,000. It was purchased for $182,500. What are your thoughts on these figurines? Let us know in the comment section below. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.